Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up the config files for Byte Sky Wars. First, let's go over to the File Manager tab, and then click on Plugins, and then open the Byte Sky Wars folder. Now, as you can see, there are a ton of config files here, but first, we're going to go with the config YML file. Now, there's not too much to go on in here, but first, we're going to start with the build mode. Uh, you'll want to change that to true. I believe by default it's true. Uh, change it to true when you need to change anything in game and when you just want to play with everything that you've done change it back to false Now the database if you have an SQL database Here's where you can put in all of the Connection login info and then the game section down here is where you can change the amount awarded to each player for either getting a kill or a win and these coins can be used for in-game currency in the shop for items later on and I'm sure you've noticed the three different chest YMLs, the basic, normal, and insane. Basically, these change the items that will actually randomly generate within the random chest. So we're going to edit the insane one. And you can see here there's two different types of items. There's ones without and ones with enchantments. So we're going to go over each section here. Uh, the first one is the chance of this item spawning in the, a chest. The item itself is the second one, and then the amount of that item. And then with the enchantments, you have to do the enchantment name, colon, the enchantment level. Now let's go over the cages. Now by default, there's three cages, green, orange, and purple. To make a new cage, we're going to highlight, copy, and then paste this whole purple one. And we're going to change it to red cage. Then we're going to change the name, this shows up in game, to red. And change the color code, I believe C is red. And then we're going to change the cost. We're going to change this to 200. And then we also have to change the item that the cage is actually made out of. 95 is the item ID for stained glass, like all of these. And then the second number is the data value, and I believe 14 is for red stained glass. Then we have to change the location. This is where it shows up in the inventory, so we're going to change it to 13. And you can change the lore if you'd like or anything else. Once you're done with that, click Save. Now, the menu config, messages, and the signs config. These are basically all the same thing. They are just what shows up in game. You can change them however you'd like to say whatever you want. So you can even translate it into your own language. So let's open up the menu config YML just real quick. And you can see here, these are what show up in the menu. And like I was saying, you can change it to say whatever you want. If you open up the messages, you can see there are a ton of messages, so you can go through and change whatever you want. So, as an example, if you don't want it to say change or select your kit, you can change it to choose or select your kit. So, change it however you want and then click save when you're done with that. Now, the signs YML is kind of like a database thing. It just basically saves the location of any signs that you put in the world. Now, let's open up the shop. This basically just changes what the shop menu looks like. To actually change the items uh, that are sold, those are set up in the cages and trail YML. The item section just shows in the inventory what the button basically looks like, and then the slot just shows the location. The lore though is what text will show up when you hover over the item in the inventory, so you can let the users know what section of items they're about to go into. Now when we go to trails, uh, just like with cages, it's the same thing, copy and paste it to make any new ones. You can set the price, you can change the effect, the effect name, the lore is whatever will come up above it, and then make sure to change the location. Once you're done without changing anything you want, just go back to my server and restart it. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out any more Byte Sky Wars tutorials in the description below.